Hi there. Quantum key distribution or QKD provides methods to facilitate the exchange of a symmetric key which can be used for encrypting messages securely. The security of the distributed key is based on quantum mechanical principles. Essentially, the actions of an adversary, usually called Eve, lead to an error in the outcomes observed by the users, usually called Alice and Bob. But in practice, Eve's attack on a physical QKD implementation may go unnoticed because of imperfections in the hardware or insufficient assumptions in the theoretical security model. Today, I shall talk about Trojan horse attacks that can violate the security of practical QKD systems as we have recently demonstrated. Here you see the physical hardware of the QKD system on which we performed our demonstration. The system is known as Clavis 2 and it is sold by the Swiss firm ED Quantique. The objective of our exercise, frequently called quantum hacking, is to explore, expose and exploit vulnerabilities in practical QKD systems in an ethical manner. Here we cooperate with ED Quantique and suggest them countermeasures against the crafted attacks. The intention is to strengthen the security of practical QKD even further. The basic principle of Trojan horse attacks involves the adversary Eve sending in bright light from the quantum channel and analyzing the back reflections. By measuring the back reflected photons, Eve can discern the secret basis choice of the attacked subsystem. Let us imagine a simple network composed of a modulator and an optical fiber. An optical pulse traveling through this network encounters multiple sites of back reflections, for example caused by a change of refractive index. Here these sites are located inside the modulator and at the connector interface. This is the scheme of the QKD subsystem in which we found suitable back reflections using optical time domain reflectometry methods. We demonstrated that the secret basis choice in Bob can be discerned in real time with almost 100% success probability. In this graph, the red trace shows the random binary modulation of Bob and the blue trace the measurement outcomes of Eve. One can see they are highly correlated. It would therefore seem that the QKD system is hacked, but unfortunately for Eve, that is not the case. The single photon detectors in Bob are gated avalanche diodes that experience after pulsing due to the bright Trojan horse pulses. This increases the overall noise and hence the error observed by Bob, thereby disclosing the attack. We therefore developed an attack strategy that allows Eve to maximize the information of the secret key while minimizing the chances of being discovered. We simulated the operation of the QKD system with and without the attack, the details of which you can find in our paper. Although our attack strategy does not succeed on Clavis 2, we show that similar QKD systems with low noise detectors may be hacked. Our attack setup and strategy can be easily generalized to other types of QKD systems. Also, the countermeasures against this attack are not entirely straightforward. We discuss some in the paper and present a more comprehensive risk analysis in another related work. In conclusion, we have shown that neither the Trojan horse attack nor the countermeasures against it are straightforward. However, with the insights gained from our work, future QKD systems can be made safer against this class of attacks. Thank you for listening.